Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm trying out crushed glass in acrylic resin and I'm also going to give you the lowdown on sanding. Let's get started. I've mixed up some jasmineite already and for today's piece I'm going to add in some crushed glass that I got from Sew so Resin and Molds. Sarah threw in a freebie with my order so I got I think they are called granite stones correct me if I'm wrong but they are so cute so I'm going to go ahead and throw that in with my crushed glass so basically I'm just eyeballing the amount of glass I'm throwing in there's no exact measurements I would recommend throwing in quite a lot especially if they're small pieces if the glass is chunkier you could get away with less once that's done, I'm just going to give this a good mix and then I'm going to just add everything into my mold. I also tap the sides of my molds just to release any air bubbles. We're going to go ahead and let this dry for about 45 minutes and then we're going to get on to the fun part time to demold and I was really curious to see how the glass would come out. I wasn't sure if some pieces would be visible but the acrylic resin definitely engulfed a lot of those glass pieces and it looks really dull. So you can see a lot of the granite stones coming through but not a lot of the glass. I still think it looked really cool with the granite stones. I mean you could leave this piece just like that but I really wanted to see the glass shine or, you know, the reflection of the glass in the piece. So uh, this is the beauty of sanding and this is where sanding comes in. So over here I have three grits of sandpaper that I cut into smaller pieces. You'll normally find the value of the grits at the back of the sandpaper. So I went ahead and got 120, 220 and 1200 grits of sandpaper in individual sheets. So it's quite visible in the camera. You can see the coarser sandpaper is obviously the lower grit and the finer coarse sandpaper is the higher sandpaper grits. If you can get your hands on 2000 grit, that would be even better. But I couldn't find 2000, so I went with 1200. So you'll want to go ahead and grab a bowl of water or anything you can use to sand your piece in. And it's really important to do wet sanding if you're using glass. And it also prevents dust particles getting into your mouth and lungs. So we're going to go ahead and start with the lowest grit of sandpaper, which is 120. I'm just going to dip my piece into the water along with my sandpaper and then I'll begin sanding. So this is going to help get that glass to shine through and it's also going to take off any rough edges. Just keep sanding until you're happy with it and have taken off any rough edges. So even though the video is sped up, this did take me quite some time. I also did some sanding off camera. Uh, just take your time with it. You do want to make sure that you're getting that glass to shine through or or your terrazzo to shine through it just depends on what design you're doing um, but you just really want to take your time with it and not rush it now we're going to move on to the second highest grit which is 220 this grit is going to smooth out the surface and get rid of some of those scratches left from the first grit. Continue sanding until you're satisfied with how your piece looks. Moving on to the 1200 grit sandpaper, this is going to smooth out your piece and give it that final finishing touch. It's really important to make sure you sand out the scratches before moving on to the next grit of sandpaper. It's just going to make your life a little bit easier. Try not to over sand the piece. You kind of just want the gloss to shine through. Or if you're doing terrazzo, you just want the terrazzo to come through. Thank you. 
Once I'm done sanding, I'm just going to go ahead and dry this off with a piece of paper towel. This really came out so beautifully and I'm not a huge fan of sanding. It's one of those parts in the process that aren't my favorite, but seeing these results made it so worthwhile. So I just thought it'd be interesting to do a side-by-side -side comparison of it not sanded and of the piece sanded and I think sanding it really did take it to the next level. That is it for this video. I hope you got something from it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.